I kind of stopped him. Bro, I, stop I, 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 lying. No. Why the fuck you lying? Oh, seriously. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Sneak Cartel, and today we'll be interviewing Manolo. Well, I'll let him introduce himself. Manolo Prado, sneaker enthusiast. The, one of the best in the city. Well, not in the city, in the south. <laughs> in the south, this collection. I'm standing here right now like a kid in a candy factory, and like, I don't know, crazy. So, um, it's not right. It's, it's not, he's trying to downplay it. So go ahead and give me like a, you know, kind of like a rundown of like what got you into sneakers and kind of like your backstory of what you put your, how you put your stamp into the game. All right, so how I got into sneakers. I was 12, I have an older brother, man. He, he was he was the best dressed in, um, in high school. So he always had all the kicks, he always had. And back then it was here in Georgia, you had uh, Reebok with the shark teeth at the bottom. was making a name for itself especially where we were living so what happened was I wasn't in the fashion at all in middle school when I transferred schools that's when I decided to update my, uh, my image your and image me and my image <laughs> so I just went shoe crazy we have a Foot Locker outlet here in Riverdale and back then I'm talking about Air Force Ones were $12 $8 $12 because nobody was wearing them $12 yeah nobody was wearing them like that now my brother's from New York so he was he was he was up on it, so I would go there and just buy all the Air Force Ones, and that's like for like the first ten years of me collecting, I only wore like Air Force Ones. Yeah, you know but do you, I mean? you can kind of see now how like it's doing a whole turnaround yeah. with Air Force Ones. Like there are certain groups or like certain pages or certain like Instagrams that have you can either I seen I seen a page the other day that had a pair of I think it was Shanghai. Uh -huh. And it was like twenty five hundred. Oh yeah. For like a, and this is like a, a two thousand two, two thousand three. Yeah. Yeah. GS pair. pair. Yeah. And it's like crazy, and I'm just like. Yeah. See, Air Force Ones, man. They always had a market. It's always, it's a. They have their own world. They, it, there's some shoes that live in their own space, like the Air Force Ones, the Retro One. They all live in their own space. No matter what's going on outside in the sneaker world, there's still a collection, a collective of people who's going to spend top dollar on those on those molds and the Air Force One is one of them. Okay, okay. Good. Moving on. Um tell me how do you think the game have changed in the past ten to fifteen years? From like then to now. Because like, like I say, right now, I've been in like solid ten years. Right. To me from then to now it's completely different. Yeah. It's it's more it was always it always had like the politics so to say. Right. But now to me it's it's completely different. Like right. you know one of your close homeboys, that friendship can be broken up over, over shoes. Release. And to the crazy part about it, not just over release, I'm talking twenty, thirty dollars. Yeah, that's true too. That off of a friendship, a quote unquote friendship. Right. So tell me how you think the game have changed in the past ten to fifteen years. All right, so I put it like this: ten years ago, ten, fifteen years ago, to be exact. Let's just stick with that. You could walk in and get shoes on sale. You gotta think. Um, CDP packs, uh, DMP packs, mm. they went on sale for $80 at Foot Action. The pack, the whole pack, and they were just, they was like, yeah, man, we just got a bunch of them in the bag. Nobody wanted them, so they went on sale. Even the uh, DMP pack, they just went on sale. So hold on, hold on one second. Now, when you say DMP pack, yeah. you're talking about the DMP 11s yeah, and, and, and the, the DMP 6s that yeah. just came out. Those went on sale, those packs went on sale for 100 at finish line. I bought every single pack man i bought all the ones they had i had doubles and triples of the pack because at foot action i remember the retro one pack the um the bull and celtics the whole pack was on sale for 55 dollars 55 bucks you can get the whole pack and what was retail um 300 i think 300 on all of those packs that I, think, is crazy. I think it was 300 on all of those packs. and to not like today's world if you can put like a number on it just a rough estimate how much you think it's going for right now um the dmp packs they go anywhere they were up they, they were, were really, really up. Like 2014, and, 2015. Right. And then they up. started retroing the actual shoes in yeah. the pack, so the so the price kind of uh, dropped. But you can still find some out there for like 800. People are charging like 800 for the pack, just depending on the condition and the uh, the number that's in the collection, as they were called, collection. <laughs> collection. Um, but as far as the game changing, yeah, man, it, it was easier to get shoes. It was harder to get phone posits in Air Force Ones back then. Um, now it's easy to get phone posits 
and some Air Force One. Believe it, so it was just one. it was just easier. We didn't have to deal with campouts, um, except for the Concord Eleven, of course, and the Cool Gray Eleven. Yes. But um, yeah, man, it was just easier to get shoes, and you could actually wait and wait on something to go on sale and still acquire it. You know what I mean? You just mentioned something, and it kind of, that was kind of like um, that was kind of like a very like a staple. Oh, not to say a staple. That, that was just like a very memorable moment when you said "cool gray." Oh, no, not yeah. "cool gray." Sorry, Concord. Yeah. Concord, at least. Yeah. Tell me your. Everybody in the everybody around has a story. Have a story around About Concord, Concord release. Okay. Tell me your. Tell me a, right. just like a bit of your crazy story. No crazy. No crazy story for Concord's Actually, this is what happened. My sister Kia was working at Foot Action in South Lake for a long time. Concord release. We go up there, right? Because people are not knowing what's going on. And it's really one of like the first big campouts. Yeah. Big campouts. Big campouts. Big campouts. Especially to take place inside a mall. The security wasn't used to it. The mall wasn't used to it. So it's a ridiculous line outside of the store. That day before. If you, you say ridiculous, around how many people? 200. You could, 200. 200 upstate. Like 200 people. Like that's. Like, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. Literally, 200 people in the mall, cramped in in, in front of foot action. And I don't even remember what they were doing. They were doing, like, raffle tickets or whatever. So, I'm just walking past the line. Everybody, what's up? Okay, cool. And I get there. My sister, she's, like, snapping on everybody because she's yeah. controlling the list. And she's just like, come here, come here. And, you know, she's like, what's up? And I just, I just walked off. And then the next day, I went and got my shoes. It wasn't even... I don't even have a crazy story for any Concord release. That's the crazy part. I got crazy stories, but not for Concords. <laughs> so, my crazy story, we're at Stonecrest. Right. Stonecrest for Concords. Uh-huh. So, so cold that night. Mm-hmm. It was cold. Mm-hmm. So, we get out there maybe, because I was still in school. I was still in high school. Right. So, we get out there on maybe, a, we get out there Friday night at like 1130. Mm-hmm. My homeboy Chico hit me up. We're going out there. We're going to get it. Bet. All right, bet. All right. So I'm just thinking. I know how we normally do releases. We normally wait like, you know, about 10, 10 12 hours. Right. That's cool by me. Like, that's fine. But the crazy part about it, we get out there and, you know, if you if you know Stonecrest, you know, you're familiar yeah, with Stonecrust. Very familiar. So, you know how old about like the movie theater in yeah. between. So, like, the, it was a the little space. That was, I think that was Finish Line. Or foot action. That's foot action in the front of the mall. Yeah, so foot action yeah. right there. We're standing there and, you know, we're freezing. You know, we got blankets, got chairs, and we literally, maybe around, maybe around 3.30, you know, 3.30, we see people running through the mall. Running through the mall. And we like, and this is around Christmas time, so we like, okay, how the hell did they get in the mall? Well, we didn't know. So you know, across the con- uh, the little courtyard, yeah. there's another door that's like by that Johnny used to be like a Johnny Rocket. Or something yeah, Johnny like Rocket. That. Yeah. Yeah. So they had broke the bottom glass out of that and was running around to go wait in front of the store. No police out. No police out. Yeah, because so, they weren't expecting any of that. No, 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 no. So we see them run. It was literally, maybe 40, 50 people running around. So we like, what the hell? They put their chairs inside the mall in front of the store. I'm like. All right, cool. We not even worried about it. We know we 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 here. Right. They skipped the line. So like, if you're like a real, I'm not gonna say if you're a real sneaker. If, if you if you if you're a real camper yeah. and you didn't camp most releases, you know the I people the, the people that skip line. If you're the original line, you know that's gonna. That doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Just like you know, people put down chairs. Right. It, like it, it. Well, it's politics to that too. So anyway, nice. um, so it, it, it it's it's kind of so we've seen that. And so we go through the door. All right. We go around, go to the bottom, and run. We go wait in line. That time it's around like maybe 5:30. All right. Police is through the mall running. Bro, I'm, I kid you not. I seen somebody jump from the top. No. Listen, listen, listen. No. You, you not at Stone Crest. No, no, no. Listen, you gotta listen to what I'm about to say. Cause I know what you think I'm about to say, but okay. I'm not. Okay, okay. I seen somebody jump from the top of the escalator. To the bottom of the escalator because we was running down by DTLR. The DTLR was on the bottom level. Right. So once the, the police came and you know broke that up in the front of foot action, DTLR, it, DTLR was the next store that was the kind of closest. 
they this dude jumped from the top to the bottom to beat everybody. Up the escalator. Yeah, because he hit the floor, rolled, got up, started running, and I'm just like, I kind of stopped him. Bro, I, stop I, 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 lying. No. Why the fuck you lying? No, seriously, and I'm like, that was the craziest thing I ever seen for a sneaker release. <laughs> like for a sneaker release that same day. So at that point, it, at that point is around like. 545 when it's like 100 people in front of DTR. Right. Police came there, everybody get them off. So crazy. they came out, they had some, they had like two police standing right there by the door that they already broke. So they put it by, downstairs by the big door, yeah. the big glass door. They opened one door of that whole wall of doors. They opened up one door. One door. Do so imagine a thousand people, yeah. literally, I'm not even joking. Trying to, trying to squeeze through that. Trying to squeeze through a little space to get to, you know, people being trampled. That same day, a lady got arrested because she left her two kids in the car. Young kids. I'm talking, you know, maybe uh, oh, like five and four. Oh, man. Yeah. So like that's just that. That was my crazy story. So I didn't get. I, that's we missed that. We missed the shoe. We missed the shoe. But all that. So we missed the shoe. So I bought DMP 11s. I think I spent. I think I spent right at like uh, four, oh, four forty-five, four fifty. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they was up there. Yeah, they were up there. They were up there. That's a fact. So, next question. Yeah. So, tell me your most profitable shoe. My most profitable. And a little kind of little backstory how you acquired this shoe. All right, most profitable. I got them right here actually. Royal Satin One, most profitable shoe. Backstory. I get a phone call. Phone call say no love. Just be ready. I say be ready for what? They say I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I can't talk about the shoe until midnight. I can't talk about nothing. Just no. So I'm like, damn. I'm like, what's releasing? I said the Royal Ones releasing. I said, right, better not be the Royal Ones. And at the time, there was a shoe that came out, the Master Air Max One, yeah. and I missed it. And I said, bro, it better be a restock yeah. for the Masters because that's what I want. He was like, nah, bro, it's way better than that. And at the way time, I'm better. like. It can't be way better than that. So he's like, bro, just come up to the store and just don't hot the spot. Don't line up. Don't be in the eye view of nothing. The Jordan brand people are here. If they see anybody forming a line, they're going to shut the release down. So I'm like, yo, what shoe is this? And he went, I tell you, he said, bro, I promise you, when the clock strikes 12 a.m., I am going to tell you. So... Anyways, I call up everybody that I need. I call up you, 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 your bodies. My conglomerate. <laughs> like, if you notice, if you know the sneaker stuff, and you go to right. camp and it's a profitable shoe, you get, get your bodies. bodies. Get right. your bodies. So I get my bodies together, and I'm like, "Yo, meet me, meet me downtown." So we all downtown. We in the parking lot across the street from the store, and we, we I'm like, everybody stay in their cars, low key. So they tell me, "Look, no, you're the first person we call." With this first person now we're going to call somebody else they were calling z 23 penny yeah. it was like we're gonna call him and we're gonna let him know so then i get a phone call from z which rarely happens yeah. and z's like no z is very right low-key very and if you don't know who z is, he is then you don't know who he, he is, is. yeah like. so z called me like no which rarely happens z calls me like no love i know you know i'm like yeah i know it's like just let you know that i'm coming Well, no, 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 no. I don't know what shoe it is, but I hear there's a lot. So he said, yeah, don't worry. We'll be, we should be straight as long as, as, long as we like the first 50 people. So I'm thinking it's like 50 pairs, right? <clears throat> 12 o'clock hit. So you, when you walk up to the store, it's so crazy. When you walked up to the store, because the store royals. closed at 8, they had the Royals in, in the, the window. They had Royals in the, and they I had, passed it. Right. I, I seen it. They had Royals, but check this out. It gets crazier. They had Royals in the window, and they had the satin in the window, but nobody, yo, no, I'm number one in line. I never paid attention to the fact that it was a Royal one. Because the Royal was on the side, Top, right? Yes, yes. So I never realized that it was a satin. So they had the window display. They had the, the leathers mixed with the satin. So I wasn't even paying attention. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just the same. So everybody coming and getting in line. Okay, great. So then 12 o'clock hit. He, he called me. He's like, no, but do you see what it is? I'm like, nah. He's like, it's in the window. I, I look. I say, bro, all I see is Royal One. He's like, I know. You can look closer. 
look closer. They're like, satin. Look I said, closer. oh, shit. He said, don't hot the spot. Do not blow the spot up. But by 12 o'clock, everybody in line knew what it was. Yeah. And then everybody started coming to the front like, oh, shit. Now this, yo, I don't know how they did it. They actually was able to release a shoe that literally had no images online. There was no rumors about it. Nobody knew the shoe was coming. Literally, nobody knew the shoe was coming. This was it. I ended up recruiting some more bodies. I had ended up with like 27 pairs. I was trying to lock them. I was trying to lock the size eight market down. Hold on, 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 hold on. You just said you had how many pairs? I mean, how many bodies? I had 15 to begin with, and then I ended up with 27. So you you started with 15, uh -huh. ended with 27. Uh -huh. Around around that time, what what was the resale on it at, at the same day? Same day was 1500. Okay, so a little quick calculations, 27, 1500, um, a big bag, basically. Yeah. <laughs> a big bag. Yeah, it was, um, it was, it was a good day, because I do a lot of trading, I'm, I'm not a reseller, so I yeah. trade a lot, so I ended up trading a pair of calls for, actually two pair of calls for. I about to say, that, that seemed like a little bit better. Right. Later on, I was able to trade and get, um, what did I get for these? Man, I traded a pair of these and got, I think, a Travis and something else. Um, but yeah, I still got a few pairs of these. So I was eight, and you gotta think it was only two stores to get them in the world. In the world. Uh, Walter's Clothing is who I was talking about. I was about to say, they shout have, out to Walter because, right, you know. They have, uh oldest standing Jordan account yeah. uh, in, in the city right in the U in, in the world actually. oh in the world in the I world. it's in the entire world yeah. and especially in the United States so that and the store in Texas I think was called Sports Image I, I forget the name of that, that store don't quote me now, on that. let me ask you a question mm -hmm. was it the same process for the satin breads or was no it, satin it, breads it was, or something else yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Satin well, I, I, when I say same process like was it did people did you know two three days before oh yeah no the satin breads people knew were coming yeah yeah, yeah. yeah them, but them, this them just this shoe this here shoe, nobody was, knew. nobody knew but technically nobody you were the first person in atlanta to know no. yep. about this shoe yep gotcha I sure was crazy and we, we heard it from the you know i'm not, I'm not gonna call you that <laughs> <laughs> we heard it from the goat's mouth wow. we heard okay, it from the goat's right, mouth right, right. Not, i'm not calling the horse call from the goat's mouth so let's see now just a rough estimate uh -huh. The room we're standing right now yeah. is about 200 pair. No. No, I mean 400. My God! Wow! That's a lot. A lot again. It's 400 out here. It's another... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, we, we keep that on, we'll, we'll keep that on. Okay. We'll keep that on. Sorry. All right, so it's 400 so, on, the, on the racks, yes. So 400. Yeah. I'm going to turn around. Show me your favorite shoe out of all out of your all whole right. collection. Right, go okay, ahead. go ahead, go I ahead. Got it right here. Go ready. All right. Okay. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Miami Knight LeBron 8 V2 Low. Right now, this is my favorite shoe, and it has been for a long, a long time. Time, yo, this shoe is unbelievable. I'm going to be so upset if they retro this shoe, but then I won't. I would love it if they brought out the highs, though. Yeah. Yo, LeBron 8, Miami oh, Knight V2. Let me, let me, let me, like. Come on. Like, look, look, this is. Yo. Yo. This is. Yo. I had to be so hard to wait, get Wait, I don't moves. think y'all understand this. Like, that, this is, this is. Is this all right? No. It, no. it, it looks it right. It, I'm about, I'm about it looks say, it right. I I'm clean my shoes after everywhere. Like okay. I clean my shoes after everywhere. Let, let me hear. Let me hear. What's that? How did you How did you acquire this? All right. So of course they released in Miami. Mm -hmm. Of course I couldn't get that. To me. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> There's a kid named Jr. Mm -hmm. He has this shoe in my size. I'm chatting with him. On Popular called Ghost Clothing. Okay. So we had a booth at, at SneakerCon that was giving us free tables to 
Nick, hold up one second. Ghost clothing was it was like the little ghost, ghost yeah. and it had like that crazy, crazy difference, yeah, like it was, colors. yeah, 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 like the reflective, like right. crazy, crazy colors. Yeah, okay. And we go down there, and I see Dre, and he's like, "Oh, leave me alone! I'm not selling you the shoe for cheap. I'm not doing you to get that." So I said, "Okay, at the end of sneaker con, if you still have the shoe, because he wanted like two thousand, I'm yeah. like, if you still have the shoe, bro." He was like, if I still got the shoe, we can negotiate because I'm tired of looking at the shoe. Right? So I had some shoes there too, actually, that I was trying to sell. And I had some shoes that he wanted. So at the end of Sneaker Con, we're negotiating. He's like, bro, you can give me like $1,300 for more. I'm like, nah, you know what? That's what I paid. I'm like, well, look, bro, we can work these trades. You know the trade I mean? god. I'm like, we can work these trades. He was like, well, what do you have? So I showed him what I had at the table. He was like, nah, I don't want none of those. I'm like, well, look, when I get back to the A tomorrow, see you pictures and basically we went back and forth through the um, messenger and he picked four pairs of shoes man and I can't even remember what they were but I tell you a shoe that was in a shoe that was in the trade was Jordan 5 because I'm not the biggest Jordan 5 fan it was a Sunset 5 and it was a um, the Black Metallic 5 because at the time they were going yeah. and um picked a super rare Air Force One I had, but I had three pairs of those, so I didn't care. And then he picked a, um... <laughs> he picked, I'm telling you, this is the double up, a, triple um, up, quadruple up king. He picked the SB that I got from Ross, bro. I found, yo, I found, I used to find SBs at Ross, and I wasn't yeah. a big SB fan. Yeah. And I will always find them in a size 9, which is too big for me. But I'll still buy them, because they were 20 bucks. Yeah. And, he, and those are the four shoes he took. And he gave me this, um, Miami Knight box and all. So, if you could put a, a, a value on your trade to this shoe, what would be the difference? Like, what, 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 what I actually what spent? You, what you actually okay. spent to get this shoe? Check this out. Sunset Files I got from Play Doh's for $20. Uh, Black Metallic Files I got from Play Doh's for $18. Okay. Right? And keep in mind, I get an additional 20% off those because I was one of the first customers at Play Doh's, and that's just how the owner set it up. Um, so, I, I got those two. The Air Force One I paid retail for. Okay. I paid retail for, for it was the. um. Tell you which Air Force One it was. It was the Savage Beast. It was Savage, Savage that was Beast. The, uh, was the, the all the, pony hair. All, it was brown pony hair, yeah, right? Brown pony hair. I think okay. it was the Savage Beast. It was either Savage Beast or the OG PlayStation. I can't remember. And um, whoa, OG PlayStation. So you paid retail for OG PlayStation. Yeah, I had, I had uh, got four pair. Or but no, I didn't have three <laughs> pairs of those. I only had two pairs of those. Okay, okay. All right, so the PlayStation. Um, I pay retail for um, all the Savage Beach, whatever one it was. And then the last shoe was, what did I say it was? It was the five. SB. The SB. Oh, yeah, it was the wrong set. Uh, so, it was roughly, the so, so roughly around, what, maybe not even 200? Not even 200. Close not up. even, not yeah. even. That, and that was just not like, even 200. That's, well, yeah, maybe, like right at 200. Yeah, yeah, so around 200 to get 1,300. Uh, to get and to get this thirteen hundred, which was going for two for nineteen. And how do you like on a scale of one to ten right now? How limited is the shoe to get right now in this condition? In size eight. I don't right. even know if that's uh, like that's in not, this condition. Size eight. Well, this is eight and a half because LeBron's run snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually watching a pair on eBay right now. I think the dude wants eighteen hundred, but it's the only pair I've seen pop up in about six years. It was a dude on Facebook selling one for like six seventy five, and I kept trying to talk him down because okay. I wanted to double up. Yeah. And he was just like, no, nah, bro. And then he ended up selling them for like six hundred. Wow. Okay. So now I'm just looking. The camera can't see, but I'm just looking. And um, one of these shoes will be real quick. Right. But this last shoe. Wow. Let, let, okay. Let's go with the, let, let's go with the, what your uh, your biggest L. All right, biggest like L. In, in this sneaker stuff, everybody, you know, if you collect or you resell, you didn't have your biggest L because you didn't bought multiple. Right. Like, you didn't bought a plethora of shoes, and it, it didn't amount to nothing. to nothing. Okay, so boom, check it out. I am a trader. Yes. I am not a reseller. Everybody knows that about me. They know I'm trying to get as many pairs of a shoe I can get, especially a retro one, for trade bait later on. Say so many pairs, not like a reseller. Like a reseller is going to go out and buy 30 pairs, but 
just as a regular consumer who just likes to triple up and maybe get four pair, I <laughs> bought 12 pairs of this shoe, right? So 12 times 170. And no, got, these were more. No, no. They were more. They were more. No, they were 170 was, plus was tax, 190. Yeah. How about that? I, I grabbed a lot of these. Yeah, and, 170. I'm yeah. thinking because the uh, retail on ones are 160. Yeah, yeah. And these were ten dollars more. You're right. And that shoe is the. Oh, Dun da da da. The Couture one. <laughs> Yo, let me. First off, I love this shoe. The shoe is beautiful to me. And I and at the time they came out, of course they sold out. People yeah. couldn't get them. And I was like, yo, I'm about to get as many of these as I can because the shoe is so hard. And what ended up uh, making the shoe depreciate was the Quality. pictures of the of how the shoe wrinkles. And contrary to believe, the shoe actually wears well. It wears good. Um, that person, he just had a nag. Like, you know, there's a... there some people with terrible feet <laughs> that... His all of his shoes probably look like that. Yeah, that's yeah. the crazy part. Can you imagine his Air Force One? Yeah, terrible. <laughs> so, and that was another thing. Like, you know, people buy Air Force Ones on the regular, but they were hating on this shoe. And I actually love this shoe, and it, and it wears well, especially if you fill up the space here. You won't, you won't have a problem with that wrinkling. And honestly, uh, it's funny because the '85 Reverse Breads, yes. they wear worse than this. No, don't, don't let anybody fool y'all and try to tell y'all oh, the leathers so good because it's real and it's it, trust me just keep wearing them they'll look better and better they're not going to look better and better the 85 reverse breads wears way worse than these let me just how many how many how many pairs of those you got what reverse breads yes. you got one i just trained on okay, okay. i wasn't able to hit on anything yeah i was in chicago when they did the release and the lines were so crazy i was just like you know what i don't know anybody here and i'm not i'm not about to pull my atlanta moves because like you, you're in the shot <laughs> right i'm in no. the shot so I just ended up hitting on the uh, off-white uh, fives out there. Wow. I just went and got that shoe and just called it a day. Hold on, he just, he just really just, it was like it was so minute, like it was a, like it was a, oh, well, yeah, like, it was an off-white five. Like, I, was, okay. I just happened to be eating alligator tacos and it popped up and I just went for it and I got through. Okay, okay. But so, biggest, biggest L, L, like, biggest L. Biggest L, I have so many of these, eight through 10 and a half. You still got Still got them. Still got them. Okay. Still got them. But you never count a retro one out. You never count a retro one out. Never. Think about it. Think about it. Um, recently, what's something that Come did on, you know? uh, Crimson. Blue. Crimson. Crimson. Crimson was doing what? Crimson had went down to uh, City Gear to yeah. like seventy nine ninety nine. Yeah. Right now they're doing two yeah. two eighty. Yeah, but then you got other ones. Turbo Blue. Nobody it, was there. fucking with. Yeah, nobody was. Green. Nobody was wanted Turbo Blue. Nope. Right now, nope. what are they doing? They Almost four hundred. Yeah. They high. Like, Everything like, high. So, again. I, if you know me, Star Blues you are know high. Oh, they high. Uh, 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 I was getting them forty dollars um, out of the group all day. Uh, uh, <clears throat> black and white. Uh, not, it's not the Shanghai. The uh, just the black and white. The black. The black and white. Yeah, ones. the black and white ones. They were so high. Damn, no, I'm sale. getting them for cheap. Like no, yeah. no, nobody was. I'm telling you, the sale ones, the all black ones. Like yo, everything's going yo. But that quality the though. Quality. Quality on sale and the yeah. sale black. They're 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 amazing. But mm. the equality retro one, shot up. We're not gonna talk about Chicago. We're not gonna talk about black toes. How people was offering them for for retail, and you know, some people selling them for one fifty to get them off. But but why? And recently, right. with this whole Last yeah. Dance right. episode or series, right? Well, what what they, what they do? I think the Last Dance just affected the Chicago. It didn't affect because the the storm blues were all no no i'm saying i'm talking like recently like with the oh you were talking about chicago oh yeah chicago i was what right yeah. now it's like almost 1500 yes like 12 it's ridiculous like, even the lows are 700 and nobody want lows no, nobody 50 bucks Rich piece of bankroll, showing how to do it. Ain't going crazy, even getting straight to it. I done caused a man fussing, and I'm fucking on the street.